So, if you read the title, you know that this has to do with me being a senior citizen. I just turned 50, and so I signed up for consumer cellular uh, phone service because it's supposed to be as low as $25 a month if you are a member of AARP and you all you have to do is be 50 years old to qualify for that so I did that and I got my package in the mail and so I wanted to unpack it with you to see what's going on so if you've been on any of my other videos you know that I have mental issues so that usually means if I'm talking live that it could be a very long video if uh, I don't plan it out and I did plan this out because I don't know what's gonna be entailed uh, I wanted to like open this live with you so so just know that I'm doing this live video it's gonna be recorded then I'm gonna download it and then I'm gonna uh, take out the pauses and stuff that really doesn't matter and then uh, upload a shorter version of this so if you are watching this live then well as you know all my videos get recorded and you can watch them later anyway so so here we go i'm opening the package so this is supposed to be my sim card so i wanted to keep my phone my phone and my phone number and uh so they just said they can send me a sim card and i just follow the instructions to get it to work with my phone so being that they specialize in servicing seniors who have difficulty with technology usually <laughs> let's see how easy this is and I'm more technology savvy than most people that are considered seniors I think at least that's what I've been told by some people that are seniors so so let's see how easy this is okay so first of all there's this letter in here it says dear Candace welcome to consumer cellular we're a different kind of of cellular company and excited to have you on our service. Our focus is simple, to provide excellent cellular service that makes sense for your needs and your budget. That's what I'm looking for. Following is a summary of your new service. Let us know if you have any questions or changes. Okay, so, so the service plan I got is the lowest one and they said that the way it works is that if you, so it's a limited plan, it's not unlimited. But if you get close to the limit, then they send you a message, I'm guessing by text, um, that lets you know and asks you, do you wanna go ahead and upgrade to the next plan? And um, and they'll do that like right then. You don't have to wait till the cycle is over, you know? And um, so I thought that was good. And you don't get penalized for that. So they just, you know, charge you the difference between the two plans. And so that way you can really figure out like where are you? Do you really need unlimited or do you, can you get away with 250 minutes and three gigabytes um, of data? So that's what I signed up for. And then unlimited text. Um, and then messages, it says unlimited messages is included. Web data is 3,072 megabytes. And I get a 5% AARP discount. Um, let's see, your usage, your plan covers call times to and from anywhere in the U.S. with no long distance or roaming charges. Anytime you place a call, receive a call, or check your voicemail, you're using minutes. All your minutes, messages, and web data are shared by all phones on your plan. I only have one phone, so. Uh, free usage alerts. We will automatically alert you via text and email when your usage approaches your rate plan. You are in control of your customizable alerts and it's free of charge, so that's good. Uh, and then they have a link here to learn more. Okay, what else? Prorated services and fees. Um, oh, so, so this one is, it says it's $14.25 um, for 250 minutes and then it's an additional $9.50 for three gigabytes um, and then over here 
Let's see. It says, we only charge for the time you are on service because your service began after the start of a billing cycle. We will prorate your first month's access fees and included time. Oh, so it's going to be cheaper the first time. Uh, your second invoice will include the full monthly fees and included time. Okay, so this one's going to be $13.78 no, $13 for 242 minutes and $9.18 for, um, I don't quite understand, it says unlimited messages and then it has like this thing next to it, but anyway, all I care is I'm going to be paying less, so that's good. Uh, see, taxes on cell phone service will run about 15% to 30% of your bill and vary on where you live. Okay. I don't have any control over that. 100% uh, satisfaction guaranteed. Um, says our goal is to make sure you're always 100% satisfied. <clears throat> if for any reason you're not happy with our service or your device, please contact us immediately. Okay. So, so far, so good. Let's see, what's this? The following are the details of your order. Um, so, it shows it's the SIM card, which is free. Shipping was free. And that's basically it. Okay, so now for the actual SIM card itself. So, let us see here. Um, all-in-one SIM card includes all sizes. I didn't know there were different sizes. For phones previously used with AT&T, consumer cellular, or any unlocked GSM phone. So that's the thing I'm not sure if my phone is unlocked. Um, all-in-one SIM card. Step one, determining which SIM card size you need. Oh, so there's more than one in here. Oh, okay, here. So there's a card in here. So here you can see. Oh, the lighting is like right. Oh, there we go. That's better. All in one SIM card. Okay, well, let's see here. Your SIM card contains three options. To retrieve the card you need, punch out the card that matches its corresponding image to the right. Okay. The standard SIM card fits into earlier smartphone models and most feature or flip phones. Well, I don't have that because I have an iPhone. Uh, the micro SIM card fits into smartphones such as Samsung Galaxy, which I used to have, but I don't. Uh, Motorola, okay, so that's not me. The nano SIM card fits some of the latest smartphones such as Samsung Galaxy and iPhone. There we go. And I have the iPhone SE, so it says iPhone 8 Plus, XR, XS, and 11. Uh-oh. I don't see SE on there. I hope that's similar to one of these other ones. Okay, so it looks like we go with the Nano SIM card, which is the smallest one. Okay. Um, step two, installing the SIM card. Once you've determined the SIM card you need, I did that, place the entire card on a hard, flat surface and press the color on the back of the card that is associated with the SIM card. SIM size is needed for your phone. The card can also be snapped back into place if needed. Oh, okay. So I will do that right now. Um, well, let's see. So I can move this down so you can see. Sorry about my hand blocking the thing. Uh, okay, so here we go. <laughs> so I need the smallest one, so that's the blue one. So let me see, just, there we go. Ooh, that was easy. Okay, so we've got this puppy now. So now let's see what's next. Uh, what did I say? The card can be snapped back in. Now you are ready to insert the SIM card into your device. The SIM card will usually be placed underneath the phone's battery or in a compartment on the side of the device. For detailed instructions and how-to videos about installing your SIM, visit blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, so this is probably going to be the hard part. 
Okay, so um, let me put this on top of here so you can see my phone because black on black ain't going to work. Okay, so let's take the cover off. Now, should I turn it off? It didn't say. <laughs> I probably should turn it off, I would think. Um, so let me do that. Turn it off. So I don't think it would be a good idea to open it with it on. Um, okay, so how do I open this thing? Right. <laughs> See, they don't tell you because it depends on the device. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to have to go to the video. Great. Because... I don't remember how to open the iPhone. I don't remember ever opening an iPhone, actually. But then I have bad memory, so. <sighs> oh, well. Um, well, let me. Okay, I'm going to have to go get my laptop, so. Oops. Sorry. I will be right back. I might get my laptop to look up this video to see how I do my iPhone. Okay, so I did warn you in the beginning of the video that this uh, might be long because I didn't know that I'm going to have to like watch a video to figure out how to do this. Um, okay, so let's go. Uh, let's see, what did they say? Go to consumercellular.com slash sim. Cellular.com slash sim. Okay. Oh. I forgot I have my laptop on airplane mode. It's not connected to the Wi-Fi. So let's connect. There we go. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let me bring the camera up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we are connecting... It's coming up, and I'm still getting the little circle. Okay, there we go. Um, so let's see here. To find, let's see, with our free SIM card, you can connect a device you already own. To be activated on our service, your phone must be unlocked by your previous secure and be compatible with GSM network technology, which I don't know. Um, okay, it's not telling me. Okay, did I read that right? It says, for detailed instructions and how-to videos about installing your SIM, visit. Um, okay, maybe I need to scroll down some more. Choose a payment plan, no. Oh, there, videos and manuals. That's what I need. Videos and manuals. How to videos and manuals. Okay. How to using the consumer cellular on one SIM card. There we go. Okay. And sorry I can't show this to you. Let's take a look you at how the it. consumer cellular all in one SIM card works. When you buy an all in one card, you'll find a guide on the packaging that allows you to adjust the card to suit your current device. There are three options for your SIM card size. For a standard size SIM, just press out the dark blue section, keeping it fully connected to the orange and light blue sections within it. Be careful to avoid touching and possibly damaging the gold contacts, so you should push the card out from the front. For a micro SIM, press along the orange line from the front keeping the orange and smaller light blue section within it connected. For a nano SIM, press along the light blue line from the front to detach it from the surrounding orange and dark blue sections. If you accidentally remove more or less of the pieces than you want to, simply lay the pieces you want snapped together onto a table or flat surface 
and gently snap them back together again, just like a puzzle. And be sure to keep unused pieces somewhere safe, perhaps with your phone manual, in case you switch to a phone that requires a different size SIM card in the future. Let's walk through inserting an all-in-one card into three different kinds of phones. A flip phone, a smartphone with a SIM behind the back cover, and a smartphone with a SIM tray. Before you insert the SIM card, always make sure your phone is powered off and that it is not connected to the charger. Okay. Start by removing the phone's back cover. Most phones have a notch between the back cover and the phone itself, so you can pull the back cover away from the phone. Once the back cover is off, you'll need to locate the SIM card. Note that in some cases, this is behind the battery, so you may need to remove that first. For this phone, you'll use the micro size SIM card, which is the light blue and orange sections together. Generally, you'll need to make sure the gold contacts are facing down and the new smartphone with a SIM the SIM slot section. behind the back cover. Smartphones often use smaller SIM cards. This phone uses the nano SIM, That's which right. means using only the light blue piece of your all-in-one SIM card. As with the flip phone, we'll start by removing the phone's back cover and locate the SIM card slot, remembering that it may be behind the battery. Slide your SIM card into the slot. Making sure the gold contacts are positioned down and the card is positioned correctly for... Okay, he just like easily just took off the cover, but I think that's not an iPhone, because I don't think an iPhone comes off that easy. Yeah, it's not... Hold on, let me back up. <laughs> I think I need the third option. So, you know, I'm going to just jump to that. So I'm pretty sure that's what I need. set. Now let's take a look at how to insert the SIM card into a smartphone with a SIM card tray. Most SIM card trays are located on the left side of your phone and have a very small hole right next to them. This hole is how you eject the tray. Take a SIM tray removal tool or even the end of a small paper clip and insert it into the hole, pressing until you see the tray pop out. Use your fingernails to remove the tray all the way. Most smartphones with SIM card trays require the nano SIM card, which is only the light blue section of your all-in-one SIM card. Oh. Set your nano card into the tray in the position indicated by the tray shape, aligning the angled corners properly with the gold contacts in the position right. indicated by the tray shape, aligning the angled corners Oops. properly with the nano card into the tray in the position in which is only the light blue section of the tray all the way pressing until you see the tray pop out, or even the end of a small paper clip, is how you eject the tray. Take a SIM tray removal tool, or even the end of a small paper clip, and insert it into the hole, pressing until you see the tray pop out. Use your fingernails to remove the tray all the way. Okay, I need to go get a paper clip now. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. I found a safety pin, um, so hopefully this will work. So I see a tiny hole on this side. It's on the left side. It's on the right side of the phone. So I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to hold it up. <laughs> anyway, it's right, right there. There you can see the hole. Anyway, I think that's the hole he's talking about. So let's see. Things happening. <laughs> I hope this doesn't reset my phone or go to factory default. Uh, okay, it's not doing anything. Okay, that's the power button. I don't know if I'm not. 
pressing it hard enough, maybe. Okay, it shouldn't be that hard. I'm pressing really hard where it's hurting my finger. <laughs> okay, that's not it. Great. Uh, I recall someone saying that on iPhones that you can't replace the battery, so therefore you can't take the cover off. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to call their 800 number because I don't think this is going to work. Um... Let me go back to the second thing and see how he took the cover off. I'm pretty sure I can't take the cover off. Let me just watch him do it. As with the flip phone, we'll start by removing the phone's back cover and locate the SIM card slot, mm -hmm. remembering that it may be behind the battery. Sli yeah. Yeah, they have an Android. It has like a little... Uh, what do you call it? Crack in between where you stick your finger down and then you pry it open, but iPhone doesn't have that. So, if it doesn't have a tray, then... You know what, maybe maybe this pointy thing doesn't work. So maybe, let me go get a paper clip and I'll be right back. Okay. Paper clip. <clears throat> Sticking it in the hole. I don't know what this hole is for then. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stick it here and we're gonna press on it. It's not doing it. I don't understand. What is this thing for? Okay, it's not working. <sighs> okay, so now what? I can't believe they don't have this for iPhone. <laughs> what does it make any sense? Okay, maybe at the end of the video they say something. So let's go to the end here and see what they say. Uh, That's all there is to it. Watch the rest of our videos to get the most out of your consumer cellular phone and for more tips and instruction. For added support, visit the support page on our website or call us at 1-888-502-0886. Hmm. Okay, well how am I going to call you if my phone is being used? <laughs> I mean... Well, I have my phone turned off, um, the one that I need to put the SIM card in, and my other phone, I'm doing this video, so. Hmm, I guess uh, I'm gonna have to stop this video, unfortunately. Um, unless I wanna try something on their, on their website here. And manuals. Let me see if there's anything else. There's got to be a video for iPhone. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's not like iPhone is not used by a lot of people. How to insert SIM card in iPhone. Okay. Do you have a hearing aid compatible phone? <laughs> no. That's not what I asked. I have a non-consumer cellular phone. How do I set up this? Again? What is a SIM card and where is it? Really? They have nothing here specifically for iPhone. Okay, this is not good. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to call them. Contact us. Hopefully they're still open. Call on my computer. Hmm, let's see. So I have Google Voice. It's been a while since I used it, but I thought you could call uh, with that from your laptop or computer. Is not working. Get a number. Oh, okay, I'm signed into the wrong thing. Oh, let's see, I think it's this one. Okay. Enter her phone number. There we go. Okay. Let me close some of this stuff here so it doesn't interfere. Okay, so, Google will call your phone and connect you, no, it's going to call my, I can't because my phone's being used, I mean, is turned off. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that's not going to work. Okay, so, sorry, that's the end of this live video because I need to use this phone to get help on this phone, so. That's one of the downsides of not having a landline or somebody else present that you can use their phone. So anyway, um, so I will make a video letting you know later how the rest of this went. So meanwhile, have a good day. Mahalo for watching.